What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. I am just finishing up a three week grind, uh, pretty much three weeks of hell. I had eight tests the last two weeks and I'm finally on spring break so I cannot tell you guys how relieved I am to be done with that stretch of the semester. But like the title of this video says, it's gonna be all about DAT tips and review materials of two companies that have uh, reached out to me and allowed me to access some of their software and put out reviews for you guys who hopefully a lot of you are um, getting ready to take the DAT and you can um, kind of use this review and get the study materials and kind of your study schedule down and I have some discount codes for you guys I'll link down below hopefully you can save some money but I'll talk about that whole money aspect in a little bit but before we get started I want to give you guys three tips that I think every person who is taking the DAT seriously seriously needs needs to give um, some real thought and consideration number one this test is literally the gateway into the whole career of dentistry so you need to put all of your time all of your effort all of your focus make it the number one priority above the classes that you're currently taking at the moment and just absolutely try to dominate this because the higher score you get it will directly give you a better chance of getting into a better dental school which will make you a, a better uh, doctor in the end and everything kind of hinges off of this one test so that being said this test can be expensive. I think when I took it, it was like $300 or $350 just to take the test and then on top of all of the study material that you have to get together. But I seriously think you guys should have the mindset of, you know, don't let spending a couple hundred dollars prevent you from getting the best score that you can. I mean, if you try to um, skimp on study materials and you don't get the right ones for you personally, you only spend $100 and you end up getting a 17 on the DAT. Not only do you have to sign up to take the test again, but you're probably not, you're, I mean, almost never are going to get in with like a 16 or 17. So spend the money. At the end of the day, you, I think the max you should probably ever spend would be $500. Spend that $500 to open up so many doors for your own future. Tip number two is if at all possible, try to block out your whole entire study schedule while you're not doing anything else. And I know this is really hard to do because a lot of people have to work at least part time or keep going to classes to um, stay kind of on their schedule uh, for graduation. But I was able to set aside half of a semester, well, basically a summer, to not take any classes, not work, and strictly study for the DAT. And I think it helped me uh, get my score immensely. So that is my second tip. Try to block out a schedule time, plan ahead, don't take any classes, don't be working, dedicate the time from when you wake up to uh, when you go to bed to studying for the DAT. And tip number three is to take as many practice tests as you can towards the kind of second half of your study schedule. So if you have two months total to study, that first month, just get your foundation. Uh, don't worry about taking practice tests because they'll probably overwhelm you. But the second half, you need to get up your endurance and you need to see where you're at to see if you need to postpone the test because you're not scoring on these practice tests what you want to be in the future. And I can't stress how important it was for my own kind of just uh, sanity that the day I took the test, I knew what I should have expected because I'd, I'd taken probably seven or eight practice tests. So I can't recommend that enough. With that being said, let's jump over to the computer and I'm gonna show you guys crackthedat.com. They're awesome resource that covers every single section in the DAT. I've been extremely impressed, not only with their customer service, but with um, kind of the compilation of information material that they've been able to put together. So here we go. Okay guys, this is Crack the Dat's homepage on their website. So the first thing I wanna say about Crack the Dat, which I think is super, super important, is this number right here, if you guys can see that. 4,500 questions, uh, that's ridiculous. I am a huge proponent of the more material that you can see or be exposed to, even if it's just one time, obviously you're not gonna be able to get through that you know, four or five times, 
But even if you've seen it, when it comes time to, when you're taking the real test, that is, and you come across whatever question they can throw at you, you'll have seen it before, so it's not gonna be something that's gonna intimidate you. I can tell you from first-hand experience, when I was taking the DAT, I had a couple questions in the science section specifically that I had literally never seen or like never even heard of. I didn't know what principles to go back and try to rely on to work through this question and it, it stressed me out and it kind of affected me for that entire section. So having that many precious questions, being able to see all these different principles thrown at you at, at different way in different ways is going to be super, super important. And then not only that, but look at how many video explanations they have. Over 3,000 video explanations. And I'll get to, um, I'll, I'll show you how that works exactly, but some people learn from just uh, looking at a question, looking at the answer choices, whether they got it wrong or right, they'll go through each one, kind of do their own research. Um, as I like to say, that's, that's kind of what I did. But if you aren't one of those learners or you like to learn from videos a lot better, which I also like to learn from videos, kind of just depends on the material, um, this is definitely going to be the DAT prep material that you need to get. And then the third thing down here is the completely web-based. So you can access this uh, obviously on your laptop or even on your phone. So if you're traveling uh, or you're in a car and you just want to run through some questions to not waste you know, um, time, any, any moment you get, any chance that you get, you could be running through these questions. So I think that's pretty important too. Now let's scroll down and see some of these other points. So simulating the DAT, I keep pointing with my fingers, I gotta use the mouse. Simulating the DAT is huge. I think the more practice tests that you can get exposed to towards the end of your studying, obviously not in the beginning because you don't really know, you need to get a good base before you start taking these practice tests. But these guys, Crack the DAT, have so many practice tests. And I'll show you in a little bit in these next tabs, but I think that is super, super important. Not only does it expose you again to a ton of different material coming at you in a ton of different ways, but one thing that's overlooked all the time is how much stamina is required to take a long test like this. Um, you're going to have multiple sections of a hundred questions and when, when you're two, three hours deep, your eyes are going to start going numb. You're not going to want to think you've been staring at a computer screen, you know, with your face like this close to it. You're going to want to kind of simulate that as much as possible. So the more practice tests that you can take spending, uh, four or five hours doing nothing but answering questions is going to be really, really important. And then the next thing that I think is super cool is estimate your DAT score. Uh, I'll show you that tab again. Uh, also, but you can take a practice test and it'll break down all the questions that you got right in each section and you can plug them into this DAT score calculator and it will not only show you the sections that you're weak on, which is super huge. I think you really, really should focus on your weak areas and not keep going back to your strengths. I kind of did that when I was studying and I really regret it. But um, yeah, so this breakdown will give you how many, it will give you the sections that you're weak in and you can estimate your actual DAT score on that kind of one through 30 scale that they have. And I honestly don't know how accurate it is to the real test, but I don't think that's the important part. I think the important part is to um, take multiple practice tests and see where your patterns or trends are. So if you're constantly scoring, you know, a 16 or 17 on the math portion, that's what you need to focus on. Or if biology is killing you, that's what you need to focus on rather than maybe reading comprehension. If you're um, continuously scoring, you know, a 22, 23, 24, kind of don't worry about that as much and really, really uh, go hard on the sections that you need to improve in. And then the last point that I'll mention here before we get into the, um, into the actual practice stuff is you receive automatic updates. So the makers, the creators of Crack the DAT are doing an excellent job in constantly updating their software. So you don't have to worry about it. It'll just automatically update when they add a new feature. I think they'll send you an email or kind of like a like a pseudo text message or something. 
and it'll tell you, hey, we added this feature, go check it out because they think it's gonna be super beneficial. And I think that's awesome knowing that the your money that you're spending is gonna be the most up-to-date current study material out there. Now let's jump into some of these other tabs. So um, let's actually go to the test part. So this is kind of the main page has all these tabs that uh, you can click on. They have those, the full length practice test right here, um, diagnostic, I think that's kind of like a baseline test, but they have each uh, section broken down for you. So sciences, PAT, reading comprehension, math, um, and then some extra bonus stuff here. But let's click on um, PAT, for example. So we're gonna take a test and First, this first part right here, they have a video crash course. So you can open this up and they have all these videos explaining each of the sections. So keyhole, um, top front end, angle ranking, hole punching, cube counting. They uh, walk you through how to get each, uh, or kind of the steps you need to take when you're coming across each of these problems. And they go through it really slow. And at first you're gonna be slow, but you slowly over time with more practice get familiar with the method and improve your speed because especially on the PAT speed is going to be critical so having these videos explain kind of the base foundation of how you go about um, getting the correct answer to each of these different uh, types of problems whether it be PAT like it is here or um, kind of in the uh, in the sciences the biologies the chemistries the ochems um, it's super important that you can have a good base and then just kind of build on top of that, have something to uh, work towards becoming faster and faster as you take the test. So we're going to click on, let's just do a video tutorial for a keyhole. Okay, so this is the uh, video tutorial for a keyhole. In keyholes or apertures, you're given an object and your goal is... I'll let it run just for a little bit so you can kind of get the feel. apertures your object will fit into. So there's three different directions that your object can move. This is my object. So I'm gonna play the whole thing for you, but you guys get a sense of, they're really trying to break these questions down so you understand exactly what um, the whole point of the exercise or the problem is getting at. And I think that's super important to, um, to understand what kind of uh, test question that you're coming up against. So now let's go into a practice test. So they have a really cool feature right here. You can go into practice mode, so it's not timed, and we'll do that. Um, so we're gonna open up a, TA, a PAT test, a practice test. We're gonna begin exam. Begin exam. Okay, so this is the first question. Um, I already this one did this one, so I know the answer, and I went through a couple of these questions, and man, I am pretty rusty, but anyways. So let's say we think the answer is B. I'm pretty sure that's right. Okay, so first we have kind of the written explanation. They show you exactly why each answer is wrong, which I think is super cool. So um, you can kind of get used to seeing and understanding why your one way of thinking was incorrect or correct. And then we can come down here to click to the uh, open the video explanation. I to think this, this is huge. Keyhole question. Let us compare and contrast the answers. So they're just going to walk you through why each answer E through E is correct or incorrect. I think that is so so important. I really wish I had this study uh, resource when I was getting ready for the DAT. Now let's check out how they're going to do the science portion of these practice tests. So we're going to go back into practice mode, go to the first test, begin exam, kind of breaks down how all of these tests are organized, begin exam. So the separation of DNA fragments based on their size is electrophoresis, so let's check that. Okay, sweet, we got it right. This explanation right here is super cool. This is kind of just like a short, I can't highlight it, but this is just a short explanation. It goes through, it talks a little bit about each answer, but if you're still not sure, you need to know pretty much every single answer in any question that you come across, no matter what the section, and that's what these video explanations do. So we're gonna click on this. Separation of DNA fragments and 
she's literally going to walk you through each uh, each answer and give you background information on sequencing, cloning, labeling, profiling, and then electrophoresis, which is the correct answer. So not only are you learning why your answer is correct or incorrect, but check this out. They're going to have, let me see if I can find it. So right here, so they're gonna actually, you know, show you real world examples of what electrophoresis is rather than just kind of explaining it. And I think, being able to have these pictures in your mind when you're going through and answering a question is so much better than trying to just memorize, oh, electrophoresis is sequencing DNA based on their size or um, separating DNA based on their size. Having these, um, these pictures is so, so, so beneficial. Okay, and the last thing I wanted to show you guys before we end this video and wrap it up is the video explanations of not any type of questions, but just the teaching videos. So if we go in to the natural science test section and we go to video crash course, we're going to pull up all of these different um, short videos that cover any topic that you could ever want to or ever need to know about. So it starts off with exponents all the way. Look how many um, videos there are. There are 16 chapters in each of these chapters, and that's just for general chemistry. Each one has a ton of videos, uh, dilution problems. Um, Colligative uh, properties, man, I'm telling you, this is such a comprehensive DAT study material. And so they have um, all of the OCHEM ones too. This is such a comprehensive study resource that you really wouldn't need much else besides this. So I cannot recommend this highly enough. I think that the amount of information and data that they're throwing at you speaks for itself. I have been able to talk to the creators of this and they are super passionate and they literally just want to help um, all of these pre-dental students do their best to get into the best dental school to give themselves the best uh, future possible to open as many doors as possible through domination of the DAT. I hope you guys like this review. I know it's not um, the normal content that I'm putting out, but this is a super cool opportunity that I have to give back to you guys, a chance to save some money, and I will see you in the next one.